What's up, Stream Geeks? Paul Richards here. And you might have seen our last video integrating the Intel Nook Hades with an M.2 four port PCIe card. Want to update you on the progress? Here it is. Take a look. So, first of all, the PCIe card's actually right here, and I'll show you a better example of it. Um, this is from Magewell. It's the Magewell M.2 quad uh, SDI input. Now, right here, this is something that we're going to talk about today as well. This is the traditional PCIe large express card uh, with four SDIs in, and it's built into, this is actually the PTZ Optics producer kit, and it takes one Thunderbolt input here. So you could actually have two of these and take Thunderbolt inputs and never have to pop the hood of your Hades Canyon, but this is going to be fun. Let me show you the view from above, and you can see the Hades Canyon. So Here's the Hades Canyon here. Uh, it's You can see it's wider and it's also much thicker than the Skull Canyon. It's a little brother. And I was really excited about the Hades Canyon be for a couple of reasons, but one is the AMD processor, which I learned a little bit about on the vMix Funtime Live show that I'll share with you guys. But um, Intel and AMD have come together and the specs on this thing look amazing. And the performance so far has been great. So we've got four little SDI inputs right there. But let me show you my opening the box video to step you through what you got to do to get this four port M2 card in. So the Nook includes an Allen wrench that comes with it. The other, only other thing you need is the, uh, I have a little tweaker here as well, uh, but there's six little connection points there and you screw those off and pop off the Nook lid. And the Nook lid is going to come up later in this show. Now what you find out is, is that Intel has built this cool little like like uh, skull uh, thing that's actually pretty cool, but it gets in the way. And so we actually have to take that lid off and disconnect it because it ends up messing with where the M.2 plug is. So here's the Magewell M.2 four port SDI card. It comes with these little micro um, SDIs to full size SDIs. And then look at the size of this baby. It's tiny. Uh, that is a standard M.2 slot, and as you can see here, it fits right into the open M.2 bay. So I've actually got my RAM over here, and then my SD card right there. I got a terabyte SSD, uh, and then it fits right into the M.2 slot there. So there's a little screw that pops off. Uh, it just keeps the M.2 safe. It literally slips right in and has a direct connection to the motherboard. So my thought, first thought was, is this going to be better than a Thunderbolt connection with the uh, traditional, uh, it's called an Akishio enclosure that holds the PCIe uh, four port SDI box. And I thought about it and um, I did some research and it really is almost the same. The, the uh, savings there is if we can uh, integrate the M.2 card directly into the Skull Canyon. Now, uh, not only does this Canyon, I believe, have the processing power to do four 1080p 60 cameras for streaming and recording. Uh, we've actually tested up to 10. Um, with NDI sources, I'll explain that later. Um, but anyway, uh, I tried a couple different ways of connecting this this top plate here, and I realized the top plate's got to go. So the top plate's got to go um, in order for this all to work. So what ended up happening? I have a couple pictures to show you in more detail of what I found. Hopefully, this will save you guys some time with integrating this cool project. So as you can see here, there's the M.2 card already installed with those four micro SDI uh, inputs. And the question is, how do we get these SDI inputs safely out of the, the Hades Skull Canyon? I actually tried the Kensington lock. And I think if you drilled a hole in the Kensington lock area there, you could probably get them through, but that is not gonna be professional. We don't suggest that. Uh, my next picture here shows all four of the SDI, micro SDIs connected there. Um, so it ends up being somewhat of a bulky cable, probably the size of two full-size SDI cables. But we got to get these out of the nook. So and we got to do it uh, safely. So uh, the issue becomes, and I don't know how much you guys, how well you guys can see this, but the, the current lid is about maybe a centimeter. It's really not much, maybe one centimeter too big. And if you put the lid on, it'll jump up right here. So on the next, I think I took another picture of this maybe from the side, uh, but you can see here the cables, they're just jutting up a little too much. So we need a custom Intel Nook lid. And you can kind of see it there again. They're just barely 
going up a little too high. And it's really a shame because that is where this project ended, unfortunately. And so what this means is I'm going back to my Akishio Thunderbolt box. There's no loss in speed. Thunderbolt is essentially a ext direct extension of PCIe. So it connects directly to the motherboard. It's just as good. Although you got to buy the enclosure. You can get this from PTZ Optics in their producer kit. This is just for you geeks out there thinking about doing some of this yourselves. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, basically where we're leaving this is a custom lid must be made before this project can be moved forward. I'm already working with GoWrite on that. So as soon as that happens, another video will be produced. But this is where we stop. Still using my four port SDI box. It's trusty as always. I'm getting rid of this uh, M.2 until we figure it out. But when we do, you guys will be the first to know. So don't forget to subscribe and like. This is going to be a game changer. Very excited about it. You won't become a video production expert overnight. So go ahead and subscribe and you'll learn a heck of a lot on this channel. Take care, everybody. See you later.